In the last video, I was inviting you to um, try to do a cost-benefit analysis of the potential of working from home. So let's try to think a bit about what we gain when we work from home more. Well, first of all, we experience tremendous savings. The most important saving is our time, the time spent usually in transport, which we can think that is productive because we check on social media, we check on emails, and we make some phone calls. But the this is multitasking, so that time is not necessarily well used or productive time. The second type of saving is obviously in terms of um, the gas for our car or the money for transport um, and so on. A third type of saving is the saving in terms of the money that we consume when we're traveling and eating um, in a restaurant or on the way, snacking on the way to work or back from work. Um, Another thing, another type of saving could be that, and I'm sure that it can happen also in your households, that you do shopping for the weekend and then the whole week you're on the, on, on the way and then you come next Friday and you look in your fridge and there is a lot of um, a produce and, and, and things that you need to throw away because it was simply not consumed. So when we were looking at working from home from a more complex perspective, we can start to see that it really has very, um, uh, very impactful benefits for our lives. So we're talking about savings, but we're talking also about what we can do with that time that we save and obviously with that money that we save. So what can we do with that time? Well, for once, we can take more healthy breaks, uh, we can take walks, we can sleep longer, therefore be more rested and more productive. We can cook more and eat, therefore, healthier. Um, and we can use that time to actually reconnect with the people around us, with the people whom we hold dear, um, from our colleagues to our friends and to the members of our families. So paradoxically, working from home, working remotely, allows us a more intense degree of connection because we're actually starting to miss uh, certain people. So we're reaching out and we're happy to meet them and to see them. And obviously, when you have some economic savings, you can also put them aside so you're more ready if a new crisis is um, to face you. So in my view, working from home is a key ingredient for society sustainable living. And it is my hope that in the future, more and more of us will be choosing this type of opportunity. Of course, not as a hundred percent, if that is not um, that is not totally meaningful for you, but as an ingredient of working only or as an alternative to working only from the office, because indeed it can have a tremendous positive impact on our lives and on our productivity and on the lives of our teams and organizations. So how about you? How it is in your case? How much work from home could be really triggering producti higher productivity and more benefits? How much time and money could you save by working more from home? Just think about it. Think about you, think about your team, and think about your organization. And if you really think seriously with sustainability, think about how you could bring together working from home and sustainability so we can build together more than just sustainable organizations, so we can really start focusing on sustainable lives. Good luck in the future.